let's kick this gear video off. Love gear videos on YouTube, so I'm going to do one of my own. I am Nash Stevens. I am a Radford University geology student. And I am going on a study abroad trip to Patagonia for a couple weeks. And this is the gear that I'm going to be bringing. The, be, this is before I go, obviously. Here, we're going to start with these pants. Zoom heel, tough, water-resistant pants. The black sections are a fabric that is a little stretchy for bending, which is nice. Love that. I'm going to do a real good video on these when I come back, especially after I see how they do. And so that, because it's a Zoom Hill, not a brand that I'm ultimately familiar with. Most people are familiar with like Columbia and Patagonia and things like that. But moving on, we have this here, Poncho, my preferred rain gear of choice because this means no pack cover, no rain pants. You just throw it on while you got the pack on, you're good to go. You got a tarp if you need it. It's just perfect. Below that, this here, Frog Togs rain jacket. Mostly got this for a windbreak because down there in Patagonia, the wind, I've watched videos on it, seem horrible. I've heard bad things. So, got that. Uh, up here, some Shimogs. Multiple different uses for these. I got a couple of them. Uh, you know, bandanas, neck scarves to keep sun off your neck. Uh, so many different things. So many. You can find so many uses for a bandana that is just unreal. A couple different pairs of gloves. Uh, because in Patagonia, apparently, you also go through all four seasons. Right? That's kind of like the running expression. That's why I got the, got the beanie here, too. A uh, wide brim hat for the sun. And then this Sea to Summit 20 liter dry bag is the rest of my clothing. Now, I'm not going to drag out everything that is in this bag, but I will tell you what is in it. It's another pair of pants. They are zip off. They're Colombian. Love them. Three pairs of synthetic socks. One pair of lightweight uh, wool socks for a little bit colder temps. Uh, two pairs of base layers. Long John pants, long John shirts. All synthetic. Love that. One for sleeping, one for hiking. I like sleeping in clean clothes, people. And there is also two synthetic t-shirts in that. Right? And a down jacket that I got a heck of a deal. So that is for just that extra warmth. I should be covered on all my bases on that. Um, mosquito netting, because the bugs can be bad. And they say that bug spray doesn't do crap but we're gonna give it a shot just in case uh, belt of course uh, right now my pants fit just right <laughs> maybe a little tight uh, being in college you sit on your honey and all the time uh, so in case I lose some weight there's that hoping I lose some weight multi-tool all right Leatherman God love this there are just so many different tools in this you never know what you're gonna need it for um, this watch is amazing. It has so many different functions. The Casio Pathfinder uh, solar charging surface here, which is great. 24-hour um, time zones. This is your sensor for your barometer, altimeter, um, <clears throat> thermometer, uh, compass. It, 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 it does a lot, people. It, it does a lot. Uh, some earplugs. Some earplugs here. You know, they are... You never know. You don't need those. Uh, passport, of course. Little whistle with a with an extra compass and um, thermometer on the back of it. You just never know. A little extra, a little emergency. You know, have a whistle. It's always good to have a whistle. Uh, about 60, 50, 60 feet of paracord. So many different uses. It, you, you know what that's for. Passport, obviously, flying out of the country. Now, I am a geology student, so that brings up some gear that most people aren't going to be bringing, but I am. This here, little little jeweler's loop for looking at rocks and some baggies in case I want a bag of rock. Not not a whole lot, but a small rock, and then I don't want to get everything dirty and all that stuff. Um, I am a smoker. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. People need to quit. I need to quit, whatever. But this is like kind of old school. There's gaucho culture down in Chile, you know, Mexican. Well, not Mexican, sorry. Hispanic uh, cowboys. And so, Chilean cowboys, whatever. You know, I'm I'm not very PC. Sorry. It, yeah. And uh, so I'll be rolling my own, you know. Roll them on. There's about three packs of smokes right there. I'm not going to be smoking the whole time while I'm down there. You know, it's kind of like an at-night thing. Uh, some headphones. You just never know when you want to listen to some music like that. Uh, this is a flask. Yes, don't judge. A little bit of a country boy. A little bit. Moonshine. Blackberry moonshine. Oh, hunter proof. It's sadly store-bought, so it's not the best. But nonetheless, 
it's still moonshine. And that's some sunscreen, a little nasal inhaler just to keep the airways clear in case you get a little stuffy nose somewhere from some dust. Uh, Carmex, of course. A little bit of baby powders for some chafing. I have another one in here. Uh, field book. Field book for taking down notes, little personal journals. And like I said, this is for school, so I have some other little things to do while I'm down there that I'll need this for. Some sunglasses and a hard case so they don't break. The shoes I am taking are Morel. Uh, I have took and sprayed these things with extra like silicone water sealant. But let's see, these are the these are the Boulder slash Orange Peel Morel, all right? Performances. Uh, I think I got these things from Bass Pro like a while back. But and then here's some gators that are gonna help keep the dirt and stuff out and twigs. Uh, and they're waterproof too, so it'll just kind of help keep the bottom of my pants dry walking through grass. For river crossings, just camp shoes and some light sandals with a tough bottom because it's real rocky where we're going. You know, we're going to a glacial valley. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Electronics. Electronics. Little power bank in here. A little extra SD card for my GoPro. Some different charging cords. Uh, my headlamp, which is rechargeable. Doesn't take batteries. So, you know, charging cord. And this here I just got. This is new. This is a foldable solar panel right 25 watt have never used one like this i remember years ago when i thought about getting one they were so much higher than what i paid for this i think i, I mean i paid like 30 or 40 bucks at most for this not much at all below that little drive bag that most of the stuff fits in not that won't sadly fit and moving on water filter they say the water down there is so clean that it, you don't need this. But the second that I see somebody get sick, I'm using this. I don't care. I'm using that from then on. I got a little platypus bottle in here, plus the solar bottles, the backwash stuff. This is the bigger one. This is the million, just because I finally got one. I have a bunch of the minis. I mean, I really love these things. I've used them so many times on kayak trips. Just dip a water bottle down in there, screw it on, and go. It's, it's amazing. Love it. Nalgene is going to be my, my drinking bottle mostly. That'll be what I just, you know, dip in and get water out of for the most part. Or just store, you know, hold water in. Um, and I have these little backups, but they're light. They fold up out of the way, so if I don't need them, I don't need them. But I got this. And it says Radford, so, you know, representing the school. Inside that, little towel for some cleaning and drying. Just really anything. Just a little microfiber towel you can pick up anywhere. Uh... Big, very, very popular in the auto sections of any damn store you go to. Uh, inside that is a spoon sport plastic, all right, super cheap for eating. Uh, they're going to be providing silverware and cooking equipment, so I don't have to bring any cooking equipment, so you won't see any of that here. That's why it's not here. Don't freak out. Yes, I have it, but I don't have to bring it. Uh, but I'm bringing that because I don't want to possibly be sharing silverware. I'm not a germaphobe, but some stuff's just, you know, common sense. Uh, a couple of these bandages, you know, used to play sports, got some injuries, got some weak ankles, weak knee. So if they kind of flare up a little bit, wrap it up, you know, that's always good. Uh, toilet paper, self-explanatory. This here, it's got some extra earplugs in there because they don't weigh anything, is repair kit. All right, little medicine bottle, remove the label, just some duct tape wrapped around it, some good Gorilla, gorilla duct tape. It's a little bit tougher than normal duct, gray duct tape, even though I have some of that too. It's on those lighters. A seam ripper sewing needles, a thimble in here. A uh, little tip, a little tip for you all who carry a thimble. Because, I mean, when you got to sew through this some of this outdoor equipment, it is it is tough. And you got to really push on it. And if you're pushing too hard, you're going to push that needle straight through that thimble. So here's your little tip for that. Go get you some JB Weld. Uh, the putty is what I used. It, it works best for this, I think. And just get you a little bit, just a little bit, and put in the end cap of that thimble. And that gives you just that extra thick end cap of thimble. You are not driving a needle through the end of that thimble and into your finger. And if you've ever done that, you know how bad that hurts. Fill it up with a little bit of JB Weld. All right, that's, that's all I'm saying. This here, my toiletry kit. It's, it's a bit excessive, I know. Some people are like, what in the world are you doing? Uh, floss, toothpaste, toothbrush, just a little cheap toothbrush. You know, I see all these people buying these super, you know, like, ones you get from, like, Z-Packs and all that stuff. I'm like, why? God. I mean, 
these things, they don't really weigh anything. I mean, if you're that concerned about 0.2 ounces, right, or point like 0.05 ounces, whatever, saw it in half. Just just saw the dang thing in half. I mean, Jesus. Um, uh, uh, we'll get to the razors in a minute. I know everyone's like, what are you doing? Um, Dr. Bronner so. <sighs> Never used it, uh, but this is what they want us to use because we're going to a, you know, national reserve. They want us to, you know, leave no trace, and I, I try to stick to that. I really do. You, I mean, you don't want to ruin these places. It's you got to save it for the generations to come. So there's this. No scent, none at all, because of bugs. No scent. So some of them have like eucalyptus, which is good for like repelling some bugs. But this is a different country. I don't know how these bugs behave. No scent at all. That's what I went with. Now. This stuff you can shave with it, which is why I have these. And even if I didn't, I was going to find some way to shave. Because I cannot, I cannot let the hair grow below my uh, neck, like on my neck. It itches so bad. I am a beardy guy. It's a thick beard. Yeah, some of you are probably jealous now. Oh, well. It, it itches me to death, so I have to shave that. I have to, at least every two or three days. At least every two or three. So that's why that's there. I got some floss. And about the shaving... When you look in here, you look in this little thing of Q-tips, uh, which are always just good to have because you never know. You will see in there, it's very hard to see, I know. All right, right there. Right there, right there. My middle finger's wiggling behind right there. That is a little bitty, like, nail file with a mirror on the back of it. Sorry, you're losing grip on the camera. And that's how I'm going to be using that to shave. Uh, a couple little bitty things of deodorant. They don't weigh anything. That's the extra baby powder I was talking about. Up here, first aid kit. Bit excessive, I know, for some people, but not for me. Uh, I like being prepared. Medicine kit, there's, you know, uh, there's Imodium in there, there's ibuprofen, uh, Tums. We're, we're eating Chilean food here, people. All right, I get heartburn. Tums. Some people have told me Prilosec, but uh, no, I haven't used Prilosec a lot. I, I'm familiar with Tums, so I'm going with what I know, at least for now. Um, Imodium. So many videos that I watch, when they mention their kits, they do not mention if they're taking Imodium or not. And I'm telling you right now, take Imodium. At least enough for one situation, for one good day's dosage worth. And that is because if you're out in the middle of nowhere like that, and you get diarrhea, you are going to hate life. I mean, you are going to hate life. Get you some Imodium. It is anti-diuretic. It's, it's, it's great. Anti-diarrhea. Anti-diarrhea. It's, it's, it's amazing. Get you some Imodium. Don't get the off-brand. Get the Imodium. All right? It's a little bit stronger. Whatever. You don't play around with that. You just don't. All right, and moving on. Um, GoPro. This is what I'll be filming most of the trip on. Got 256 gig uh, micro SD card, and I have a 16 gig in that little bag. Uh, so I got like 20 hours worth of footage plus my phone. Uh, so I have I have plenty of footage. Other people are bringing GoPros. So much stuff. I got the chest harness here. Wear that while I'm hiking. See something I want to record, just hit the button. Uh, this for later if I just want to hold it instead of wearing it on my chest, which is great. Uh, we'll move up here to a bigger item. 20 liter Cedar Summit dry bag. These 20 liter, these Cedar Summits, man. I'm telling you, these Cedar Summit dry bags are amazing. These are just little old cheap ones, like the ones back here that all this stuff fits in. But for the big stuff, I went with these good ones. You know, the clothing for this, the really important stuff, I went with these. These Cedar Summits, they're really good bags. I love them. Um, eventually, I'm going to switch everything out for Cedar Summit. I just am. They're they're just really good. They're lightweight. They're just good. And in here is my sleeping bag. All right, uh, you see no tent, you see no tarps. Like I said, though, if I have to, I can use that because the people that we're going with, they're providing tents, they're providing tarps, and really, we're going to want to lay out under the stars, just kind of the way it is. Uh, in this is the 30-degree Fahrenheit Eureka Mummy Sleeping Bag, synthetic, uh, because I prefer synthetic. I know down's lighter, but synthetic when wet insulates better than down when wet. It's just simple facts. <clears throat> and inside of here is um, an emergency Mylar bivy. Um, they weigh nothing. I highly recommend getting one just to have. Uh, they weigh nothing. If the temperature drops low, you know, like I see all these people getting these sleeping bag liners, and it's just big hunk, you know. It's this big hunk usually that they're adding in extra. And it may not weigh any more than this Mylar bag, but this Mylar bag is smaller. And I guarantee it is warmer, if need be. I guarantee it. All right. Uh, there's a little blow-up pillow in there, creature comfort. 
food. Now, obviously not a lot of food they're going to be cooking for us, um, but this is just some little extra stuff that I want to take. Protein powder, yes, unnecessary, I know, I do, but you're hiking, we're going to be sore, I haven't done a whole lot of this stuff, haven't been able to, and I go to, I'm doing homework and classes and everything else for college, about 50 hours a week, it's like having a 50 hour a week job, I'm, I'm, some people probably think I'm exaggerating, I promise you I'm not, if you've been to college, in a science field especially, you know. For every class I have, I have a three-hour lab. Yeah, while most majors like business and stuff, they have a class and they go home, or they have a class and they go to another class. I have a class and I go to a lab for three hours. It's, oh, so, so much work. But anyway, I digress. Uh, protein powder weighs quite a bit, but as I drink it, it'll go down. I'm picky about my coffee, so bring in some coffee. Individual servings and peanut butter. Break up the flavor profile. God, peanut butter, after you've been eating certain types of food sometimes you just want to break it up right now this here is in the bag just got this thing love it the osprey volt 75 liter bag love this thing uh it's got the self-fit system which is good you know uh, some people don't like it uh, i understand why i mean personally if just where i'm at in virginia clothes or stores like that, that sell you know hiking accessories and stuff usually don't sell enough bags to like really try on and find the perfect one that fits they just don't so the so the universal fit systems are good uh i'm not bringing this sleeping pad because they're providing that i don't know if i mentioned it so i'll mention it again now there is a couple things here that aren't pictured uh one is I'm probably going to go and get a cheap, much cheaper one of these from a store here tomorrow and make me just a seat to take because, uh, you know, sometimes you just want to sit down without having to sit on hard rock. And they don't weigh nothing. I mean, these things here don't weigh, the whole pad itself doesn't weigh anything anyway. So I'm going to get one of those seats to just get, a, get another full one and then just cut off a seat instead of buying one of those pre-made seats that are so many dollars, I can spend like two bucks on one of those super cheap closed cell foam things and cut me a seat out of it so that's what i'm gonna do now this here i would like to mention because i think that it is just i love this i want to talk about this because i love it i think it's absolutely fascinating uh someone told me about this and i think it's great if you're going somewhere where you can leave your gear right uh so leave some of your gear right like where i'm traveling i'm, I'm taking a carry-on you know I just am. I'm taking a carry-on bag, and it's all going to fit in this duffel. So I don't want to be hiking around with all that stuff. So there's a place where we're going to leave some of our stuff, and I'm going to leave these here. Uh, one set of clothes for the ride home. Yeah. Don't know why I never thought about this, but all those hiking clothes are going to smell to high heavens. So here's this, and it's fantastic. You know, fold you up one whole set of clothes, socks, underwear, shirt, pants, whatever, and then throw a couple dryer sheets in each bag, and you will go, and you will have these nice, clean clothes that smell really fresh when you're riding home, and I guarantee the passengers around you will thank you for that. <sighs> well, that is my gear. You know, I mean, that, that's it. Um, I'm going to upload it. I leave in on just a few days, so on the rare event that someone sees this on YouTube, and they want to, you know, drop a line for some suggestions... Uh, I'd love to hear it, even if I don't get to see them until I get back. I'd still love to hear any suggestions you have. Uh, so, for sure, drop drop the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and, oh yeah, oh yeah. It, it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. I encourage everyone who does not go outdoors to go outdoors, because it'll change your life. It really will. So, thank you. Have a good one.